The elite operators of the U.S. Special Operations community are tasked with only the most difficult and dangerous missions. The subject featured in the following interview operated within this community and acted as a consultant on the development of Medal of Honor. Their identity has been concealed for security purposes. My wife was back home. She was eight and a half months pregnant. When I came home, you can bet, all I, I told her, oh baby, all I thought about was you. Were you okay? But that's not the truth. The truth is, I was worried about my guys. I was worried about making the right decisions. She was in good hands with other people. The best way I could help her was to take care of me. We've been married 22 years. I've never told her that. You hear a lot of people talking about combat mindset. It's what distinguishes, I think, special operations people from others is just really the mindset that they do carry. It's not just being physically strong, physically fast. It's not even being smart. It's, it's a combination of attributes, being well-rounded, being willing to take a calculated risk, the tenacity to not quit. You're not thinking about, have I been a good boy and am I going to go to heaven? You've got your mind right and you know that you can do what you're going to be tasked with doing. You've got to be able to go from sitting with your buddies, drinking a beer, to 24 hours later being somewhere in the world, and now suddenly somebody expects you to mount an assault. Big things depend on your actions. Mindset is everything. <laughs>